Hey guys, this is Michael from Concrete Chemistry. In today's video, we'll be talking about solutions. We'll be going over some solutions, stoichiometry, practice problems. If you're not too familiar with the basic of stoichiometry, I would recommend actually checking out my stoichiometry videos first before coming in and taking a look at this video. Uh, solution stoichiometry, it's pretty similar to regular stoichiometry. The only difference is that you need to know molarity, which is the unit of concentration, is going to equal moles of the solute divided by the liters of the solution. So that's the big thing you want to keep in mind that molarity is going to equal moles divided by liters. All right, so since once you have that in mind, let's go ahead and try these two practice problems. So the first practice problem uh, tells us we have this re reaction is asking us how much of the 0 0.20 molar H3PO4 is needed to react with 100 milliliters of 0.1 molar NaOH. So whenever I'm dealing with stoichiometry type problems, I like to first write out the reaction and underneath the reactants of the products, write what is given. So I'm going to rewrite the chemical reaction. And then let's see what is given. So it tells us um, we have 0 0.20 molar H3PO4. We have the concentration of this. And it's asking how much volume is needed. So that's what we're going to be solving for. Question mark volume or question mark. I'll put it down in liters. And then it, it see NaOH, it tells us there's 100 milliliters of 0.1 molar. So I, I know there's 0.1 molar NaOH, and uh, we have 100 milliliters. But I'm going to turn that into liters just because whenever you're working molarity, you want to have liters. So 100 milliliters to the, get that into liters, we're just going to take that number and divide it by 1,000, and then that's going to give us 0.1 liters. So once we have all the numbers, uh, all this written down, we know what's given and what we're trying to solve for. Now, I'm going to show you two ways to do this. We'll show you the technically the, the technically correct way of, of stoichiometry and dimensional analysis. And then I'm going to show you a shortcut that's a lot quicker. So let's do a long way first. Uh, so we have let's start with uh, the this part. We have 0.1 molar, or sorry, 0.1 liters of the NaOH. So we're starting with the given. And then we're going to multiply that by the molarity. Uh, and so we're going to have liters of NaOH on the bottom because stoichiometry is all about canceling out units. And then we're going to have moles of NaOH on the top. And moles over liters is the same thing as molarity. So I have 0.1 molar, uh, which means I just have 0.1 moles of NaOH per one liter of NaOH. And then when you do that, you can see that the liters of NaOH are going to cancel each other out. And then once we have the moles of NaOH, just like regular stoichiometry, we're going to go from um, the moles of NaOH to moles of H3PO4. So that's where we do a mole to mole ratio. It's all about canceling out units again. So since we have moles of NaOH up here, we're going to put moles of NaOH on the bottom. And then we're going to put the what we're trying to solve for on top, which is moles of H3PO4. And then the numbers you get from looking at the coefficients. So there's three moles of NaOH for every one mole of H3PO4. And then when we do that, the moles of NaOH cancels out. Then lastly, we want to get it back in the liters. So that's where we're going to have to incorporate the molarity. Um, and then we're going to multiply by conversion factor, we're going to have moles of the H3PO4 on the bottom just so the units can cancel out. And we're trying to solve for volume, so we're going to have liters of H3PO4 on top. And this is this 0.2 molar, so we're going to have 0.2 moles on the bottom and then one liter on top. Uh, whenever you're working on molarity, the, this number always goes in front of the mole component, and then for the liter component, it's always just going to be one liter. Then the moles of H3PO4 is going to cancel each other out, leaving us with just the units, liters of H3PO4. So plug that into your calculator, and you get something around 0 0.017 liters of H3PO4. And that's the amount of volume that we need to react completely with, with the NaOH. So that's the long way, the technically the correct way doing it with stoichiometry. Now, this is the shortcut. So whenever you have a situation where you have a mole liter, uh, sorry, molarity and volume, molarity and volume, and you're, you, you have one unknown, 
you can set this up. You can set M1 V1 equals M2 V2, and then the coefficients are switched. So if we if we call this one, and then we call this two, the coefficients one goes in front of M2 V2, and then the coefficient of two goes in front of M1 V1. So plug in the numbers, the coefficient in front of two was was 3, m1, with molarity of the first one, was 0.2, and uh, v1, the volume was unknown, so we're going to just call that x liters. The coefficient in front of 1 uh, was just 1, and then the molarity, m2, was 0.1 molar, and then the volume for 2 was 0.1 liters. And then you can do you do algebra and solve for x, and then when you solve for x, you get x is going to equal 0 0.017 liters of 1, which is H3PO4. So look at that. We get the same answer in a lot less time. So that's the shortcut. and uh, We're going to try doing that one more time with another problem. So in this problem, it re it's the exact same reaction, um, and let's, let's just do the same thing. We're going to first write out the reaction again. And then let's write the numbers down. So it says 36 milliliters of H3PO4. I'm going to turn that into liters. So divide that by 1,000. That's going to give us 0 0.036 liters. And it reacts with 80 milliliters of 0.5 molar NaOH. So we know we're going to have 0 0.08 liters of this and 0.5 molar of NaOH. And we're trying to solve for the concentration of the phosphoric acid. So we're solving for the molarity. And let's call this, uh, we'll call this 1 again, and then we'll call this 2. So use this, this to apply the shortcut. So the coefficient in front of 2 was 3, uh, and then m1 was x molar, and then v1 was 0 0.036 liters, and then the coefficient in front of 1 was this 1, and then m2 was 0 0.06 liters, whoops, sorry, m2 was 0.5 molar, and then v2 was 0 0.08 liters. So plug that into your calculator using algebra, and then when we solve for x, uh, we get, let's see, 0.5 times point. And then we get the x equals 0 0.37 molar of 1, which is H3PO4. And that's it. That's how you do uh, solution stoichiometry products problem. So you can do it the, the stoichiometry way using dimensional analysis, or you can do the shortcut where you do M1V1 equals M2V2, but then you just switch the coefficients like we did in these two problems. All right, hopefully that made sense. And if it did, if it helped you, give this video a thumbs up, uh, leave a comment about how, how it helped or what, what else would you have liked to see and then subscribe to the channel because I'll be posting up tons of video that's going to help you do well in chemistry and then if you liked my teaching style and you're inter interested in individual tutoring check out www.conquerchemistry.com slash online tutoring all right keep practicing and I'll see you next time